10 Driest Places on Earth The fact that 71% of the Earth is made up of water is fantastic because it is essential for our survival. However, some regions fall under the category of hyperarid deserts since they often receive less than 0.09 inches two millimeters, of precipitation annually. Even worse, some regions endure for years without receiving any rain, rendering them essentially uninhabitable. Amazingly, deserts cover 35% of the planet's surface, making them larger than you might imagine. Let's look at 10 of the driest locations on the planet. 10 Pelican Point, Namibia It's likely that you have heard of the scenic Pelican Point in Namibia if you enjoy sand surfing. Pelican Point, one of the driest places on Earth, is continually overrun by tourists who want to surf on its long sand dunes that reach the Atlantic Ocean. The changeable climate of this location is another reason why tourists adore it. Pelican Point's climate is also not as extreme as some of the locations on this list. This region experiences approximately an inch, 23 millimeters, of rainfall annually, which means residents get to enjoy mostly clear skies. Every year, there are 2,646 hours of sunlight in this region. This location has an arid, cool climate because it has a koppen geiger climate classification of BWK, cold desert climate. 9. Algiers, Aleph Aleph is not the town for you if you are not adapted to the heat. Long summers with extraordinarily high temperatures and short winters with temperatures that are still warm compared to other regions make up its yearly climate. Aleph is classified as BWH by the Koppen Climate Classification, Hot Desert Climate. The town experiences its hottest month in July, when high temperatures can reach a maximum of 111.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 44.1 degrees Celsius, and a minimum of 90.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 32.6 degrees Celsius. The fact that this town averages only 0.05 inches, 12.9 millimeters, of rain each year is one of the reasons it made the list. Because of this, it is incredibly difficult to find any type of protection from the intense sun. The topography is largely covered in shimmering sand dunes because of the area's limited rainfall. Visitors come here from all over the world to take in the splendor. 8 Antarctica's Dry Valleys Contrary to popular belief, the South Pole is among the driest regions on Earth. The dry valleys are a group of valleys with extremely low humidity and little to no ice cover, hence their common name. The Cabotic winds are responsible for the dry valleys. In layman's terms, Cabotic winds cause dense, humid air to drop at a rate of up to 199 miles per hour, 320 kilometers per hour, propelled by gravity. By the time they reach the bottom, the wind is hot enough to cause the evaporation of water or ice, since it gets hotter as they descend. The dry valleys are the largest ice-free region in Antarctica. For reference, they cover an area of 4,800 square kilometers, 2,900 square miles. Naturally, the Transantarctic mountains surround the valleys. These mountains are so tall that they prevent rain clouds from developing and ice flowing toward the sea from reaching the rivers. The dry valleys have a low population in part due to the region's extreme aridity. Access to fresh water will be your breaking point even if you can withstand the environment because certain areas of the region go for years without receiving any rain. 7. Egypt's Aswan Aswan, in South Egypt, is unquestionably one of the driest places on Earth, with an average annual rainfall of just 0.033 inches, 0.861 millimeters. As in the rest of Egypt, Aswan has the warmest summer days. The overall environment is scorching and desert-like. Despite the weather, Aswan is home to one of Egypt's biggest markets and a well-liked tourist destination. The city's proximity to the Tropic of Cancer contributes to the high temperatures. The summertime average high temperature is 107.0 degrees Fahrenheit, 41.9 degrees Celsius, and the summertime average low is 77.0 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius. However, during the winter, it can get as low as 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius. As a result, the winters are pleasant while the summers are oppressively hot and uncomfortable. Because of this, the area sees the most visitors during the winter. Aswan is not just among the driest cities, but it's also among the least humid. 
With a maximum humidity of 42% and a minimum humidity of 16%, the humidity is typically about 26%. Because of the humidity levels, Aswan has about 4,000 hours of sunshine per year and a relatively clear sky all year. 6 Chile's Atacama Desert One of the most stunning locations on Earth is the Atacama Desert in Chile, which features breathtaking beaches and glistening sand. It's also among the driest spots on Earth, but the majority of tourists won't tell you that. For reference, it should be noted that Calama, one of its municipalities, experienced a 400-year drought from 1570 to 1971. The towns that do get rain, however, only get an average of 0.04 inches 10 millimeters, of rain every year. The Atacama, which is situated in South America and stretches more than 600 miles, is best defined as a coastal desert, 965 kilometers. In some locations, thick fogs frequently occur, which helps to keep the temperature manageable. However, it has one of the highest annual average humidity levels on this list at 75%. The Atacama is surrounded by huge mountains, yet none of them have glaciers to illustrate how dry the region is. The Humboldt Current's chilly water, which prevents clouds from forming, is to blame for the dearth of precipitation. In either case, Atacama is a popular travel destination, provided you don't mind long swaths of desert that are completely barren. A portion of the desert also receives record-breaking amounts of rainfall every few years, resulting in lovely mauve pink vegetation covering the desert. The greenery lasts only as long as the actual rainfall, and within less than two weeks, things are back to normal. 5. Peru's Ica The Department of Ica, one of Peru's regions, has Ica as its capital city. Ica is situated in southern Peru. It may be in part due to the city's proximity to the Atacama Desert that it is extremely dry and rarely receives rain. The Ica region wasn't dry until about 30 million years ago, which is surprising. Whale fossils from that era have been discovered more than 2,000 feet, 600 meters above the present day sea level a now extinct five foot long 1.5 meter species of penguin once lived in ica the area is currently too dry to sustain the majority of plants and flora however tourism is the resident's primary source of income many people travel there during the colder months to enjoy the picturesque tourist attractions walk up the mountains and go surfing on the sand dunes fun fact Plan your vacation to Ica if you want to see actual mummies. This is mostly explained by the fact that a well-preserved human body finds it challenging to break down in environments with low humidity. Ica gets 0.11 inches millimeters of rain per year and can get up to 35% humidity. For Sudan's Wadi Halfa A little town in Sudan's northern state called Wadi Halfa has a sparse population. It ranks among the world's hottest and driest cities thanks to the average 4,300 hours of scorching sunshine it receives annually. It is not surprising that the city is so dry given that Wadi Halfa is a part of the Namibian Desert, which is then a part of the Sahara Desert. Wadi Halfa has one of the highest possible evaporation rates due to the relentlessly hot sun, which can reach 233 inches per year, 5,930 millimeters. During the coldest months, this region's yearly average temperature is 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius. The heat wave months are worse since the temperature can get to 118 degrees Fahrenheit, 48 degrees Celsius. Most of the cities on this list share the trait of having little to no flora that can grow successfully and in frequent clouds. Because of this, the yearly precipitation average is less than 0.1 inch, 2.45 millimeters. 3. Al-Khali Arabian Rub The Arabian Peninsula is home to the Rub Al-Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter, given that it is about 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, long and 321 miles, 500 kilometers, wide, it is a large object. Sand dunes and gypsum plains dominate the majority of its topography, giving the region a gorgeous aspect that has graced the portfolios of numerous photographers. The region is home to numerous dried up lake beds that were formerly filled with water some 4,000 years ago. This makes navigating the terrain rather hazardous unless you have experienced company. 
Despite this, travelers frequently swarm the region to take part in the many available tourist activities. Because of its climate, Rub Al Khali is eligible for inclusion on this list. This one specifically fits the category of hyperarid places according to the categories that are provided. Records show that the amount of annual precipitation is less than 1.4 inches, 36 millimeters, which means that there is little chance for vegetation or water bodies to survive. In one of the least humid towns in the world, the annual average humidity is around 30%. Finally, while it rarely exceeds 124 degrees Fahrenheit 51 degrees Celsius, the average temperature is 97 degrees Fahrenheit 36 degrees Celsius. 2. Egypt's Luxor The name of the Egyptian city of Luxor comes from the Arabic phrase for the palaces. The town is well known for its tourist destinations, which include one of the driest places on earth, the world's largest open-air museums, and temples rich in cultural history. In June, July, and August, the temperature can easily rise above 104 degrees Fahrenheit 40 degrees Celsius. The lows, however, can drop as low as 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit 22 degrees Celsius. According to the statistics previously given, unless you are able to tolerate the harsh weather, it is not advised to visit the area during the summer. According to data, the climate is frequently dry all year, with some areas not seeing rain in over a year, given that the yearly average is 39.9%, with wintertime highs of 57% and summertime lows of 27%, the humidity is on the low side. This makes the region worthwhile to visit at any time of year. Luxor receives up to 4,000 hours of sunshine annually, thus, it is bright there all year. To put this number in perspective, consider how close it is to the world's highest possible theoretical sunshine duration. 1. Chile's Arica One of the driest cities on the continent is undoubtedly Arica. Surprisingly, despite having an average rainfall of around 0.03 inches, it also serves as a port 0.761 millimeters. High cloud cover and a lack of precipitation cause the area to have high humidity levels that resemble those found in equatorial regions. But the amount of sunshine is still as intense as in the northern Sahara Desert. On the western coast of South America, Arica is situated at the African Bend. Although there is a lot of moisture in the air because of the high humidity, it doesn't reach the ground. The rationale is that the hot air gets distributed rather than wet because of the frequent winds in the nearby Atacama Desert. That's for now. We appreciate you for being here. View more our channel videos.